so today I'm going to do another tag video and this tag was actually created not that long ago by um, the two YouTubers called Amelia Liana and Essie Button and I'm going to link their video down below. They created this tag called the Lip Product Addict Tag and when I saw them and their video I was just like I have to do that tag. It was so cool and it is just right up my alley. Lip products, just I love everything that has to do with lips just in general. Um, I think the perfect lipstick or the perfect lip gloss or something like that can make such a huge difference. So I decided to do this tag and there's eight questions in this tag and I'm just gonna get right into them. The first question in this tag is what is your favorite lip balm or lip treatment? And for me this was no hot pick. Um, it is of course my Ola Henriksen African Red Tea Exfoliating Lip Salvation and I love this one. Um, I don't think that I've ever actually shown you guys this one which is such a shame um, but it is both paraben and petroleum free so it's really really good for your lips and the awesome thing about this one, first of all the packaging is amazing, I love it but the actual product is actually pink. As you can see it's so lovely and what I love about this one is that it kind of like works as an exfoliating lip balm. It's really, really good if you've got like cracked lips or something like that, then this will definitely make your lips much softer and exfoliate them really, really nicely. And also it's just so hydrating thanks to the really great essential oils in here. Also it's really nourishing to your lips because it's infused with some um, antioxidant extracts from fruit and so on. I will recommend it for everybody, no matter your skin type or skin tone. Um, it is just so deeply hydrating and the awesome thing about this one is that it also gives a bit of a tint to your lips. It's just good for so many different things and it smells lovely as well. I am in love with this lip balm or lip treatment and it's definitely my fave. Next question is your best eye-catching red and that was no hard pick for me at all. It is of course my MAC Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick. Um, this is in a frost finish and it came out with the Viva Glam Rihanna collection. Um, and it is the most amazing red I've ever seen in my entire life. The really awesome thing about this one is that it's really creamy and lovely in texture but it's also very opaque in colour. And as you can see, it's got kind of like this sparkle to it, which is so unique. I've never seen a red lipstick have such a nice golden sparkle in it. Um, the actual lipstick is a bit uh, blue undertone, which is really, really nice. And yeah, and I would say thanks to that golden sparkle that it's got, it gives such a nice shine on the lips. And that's what really makes it pop and makes it eye-catching. So I love it and I also love the packaging. I think that red velvet thing is so amazing and I I love it. Third question is best luxury and best drugstore. And for the best luxury lip product, I would definitely go for my YSL um, Hochschulup Shine Lipstick in the color 8 Pink in Confidence. This is such an amazing lipstick. It is so creamy and butter-like in texture and it just glides on so smoothly and so nicely and gives a, such a nice shine to your lips. Um, the colour is right there and as you can see it's so shiny and lovely. And it is not totally opaque but not too sheer either so it's just so lovely. Love the packaging of this one, I think it's amazing. I, I'm in love with YSL's packaging. It's just a really nice hydrating and shiny lipstick and I think it goes for everybody. I mean this is a very dusty, pale pink um, colour. I love the colour, I love the <laughs> packaging, I just love everything about it. It's amazing and you have to try these lipsticks. For my best drugstore product, I've chosen my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the colour Beige. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today and it is the most amazing lip gloss I've ever tried. It is not too gloopy and it's not too sticky. It is very, very comfortable to wear. I mean, normally I don't really wear that much lip gloss because I always find that they get so gloopy and are nice to wear during the day. But this is such an amazing formula and also just the actual um, colour of this lip gloss is so amazing. I mean, it says to be beige, which is so untrue. It is also a kind of like dusty pale pink actually um, and I really like it and 
I, I'm in love with this colour, it's right there and it is very opaque, very nice and I love it so so much. I even think that the packaging looks really luxurious so I love this one and it's definitely my favourite drugstore lip product at the moment. Then we come to my favourite MAC lipstick and that was such a hard one for me. I mean, I, I love all of my MAC lipsticks. I recently did a MAC lipstick collection and as I said in that video, I love all of my MAC lipsticks. I can't really pick just one. I actually picked three um, lipsticks as my favourite um, and I did that because they go for um, different seasons and so on and the first one I'm going to show you is the one called Plum 4 and this was actually also Essie Button's favourite MAC lipstick and there's a reason for it because it's the most amazing plummy deep lipstick and it is in a luster finish and I love it because it is not too like showy but it is still showy <laughs> It is right there and it's just a lovely plummy shade. It is very creamy on the lips and feels very moisturizing as well. This is definitely my go-to winter lipstick. I think this is the most amazing lipstick for winter and autumn because it is such a deep, nice, plummy shade. Um, but you can definitely also wear it for summer, but I would definitely recommend this one as a winter lipstick and that's also when I use it the most. As a summer lipstick, I've chosen my newest one, and this is a one called Orange, and it looks like this. And it is um, in an amplified finish, and it is just this very true, bright, bold orange um, color. And it is right there. As you can see, it is very, very bright and very in your face. And I just think that this lipstick is the perfect lipstick for spring and summer because it's that vibrant. I recently did a look with this one, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I am going to wear this so much during spring and summer because it is such an amazing colour and it just gives a little extra to your um, look, so I love it. And lastly, for my favourite nude lipstick from MAC, I've chosen the one called Cream Cup because it is my ultimate uh, nude shade. Um, it is a bit pink toned, um, but it's also actually a deep nude in my mind. And I just love it so, so much. Um, it is right there when I swatch it and I love it. This is in a cream sheen formula, so it's very creamy on the lips, very comfortable to wear because it's not sticky or drying. It's just really nice. I've worn this so much and this is an all year round lipstick for me. I love it. Next question is my most disappointing um, lip product. And I actually had a hard time finding one that I really felt disappointed about. But then I actually remembered my Reblan, what is this one called? Um, Reblan Color Burst Lip Butter in the number 025 Peach Parfait. Um, I remember hearing a lot of really great reviews um, about the Reblan Color Burst Lip Butters and I was so excited to try it. So I got it in this colour, Peach Parfait, and I must say, I'm kind of like disappointed in the formula, and I thought it was going to be very, very creamy, very lovely to wear, but actually I find it a bit, I don't know, clumpy um, in texture, it's right there. It was very, very difficult because there's kind of like a lot of shimmer in it, it kind of like sits in your fine lines on your um, lips, and it doesn't really lie on smoothly so it was just such a disappointing product actually and I haven't really worn it that much ever since I bought it. Also the colour is called Peach Parfait but it isn't a peachy colour at all. Um, I actually don't like the colour on me so that's also very very disappointing. Next question is lip liner yes or no? Um, I'm actually an in-betweener. I would say yes. If you're going to wear a really bright, bold um, lipstick, then it's always a good idea to actually draw in your lips with um, with a lip liner so your look and your lips gets more crisp and precise. Whereas I do find that if you're just going to wear, you know, like a subtle nude lip or an everyday um, natural subtle lipstick, then I would just wear the lipstick without any lip liner. So for an everyday look, definitely no. But for a special night out or gala or something like that, 
Yes. Next question is best gloss, and I'm not really sure if this one counts, but I'm going to let it count anyway. Um, this is the Dior, um, what's it called? Dior Addict Fluid Stick in the color 389 Kiss Me. And this is actually the newest kind of lip product from Dior. The thing about this one is that it's long wearing as a lipstick, but it's got the kind of like shine and sheen as a lip gloss. So it is just such a lovely formula. And the applicator looks like this. It's kind of big, so it's actually easy to get onto your lips. The lip gloss is right there. Really lovely pink shade. I love it so much. It's such a nice wearable pink shade. The really awesome thing about this lip gloss is that it's water-based instead of wax-based, which means that it's very lightweight on the lips and it doesn't go gloopy or sticky during the day. It just stays on really, really nicely and it's very lightweight. You don't really feel like that you're wearing anything when you wear it and I definitely need more of these. Last question is something extra, and I actually feel bad about not even having mentioned my lovely Chanel lipsticks. I mean, what is wrong with me? Um, but these four lipsticks are from the um, Rouge Allure, um Chanel uh, line, and these are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks in the entire world. They are so pigmented, so opaque in color, and they are lovely on the lips. I mean, these are definitely some of my favorite go-to lipsticks. Um, I've got four of these now and they are obviously very expensive. They are some of my most luxurious products um, in my lipstick collection. If I just try to show you actually my newest one from Chanel, this is the Hauteur Velvet 44 La Diva. Um, I love this one because it's kind of like a click thing or you click it and then it opens up here and I love this bullet like um, look and there is the colour um, I love it, this is a matte um, very very opaque right there really fierce um, pink shade and I love it also says Chanel hair as you can see it is so amazing I love the packaging I love the texture I just love everything about these lipsticks and I felt kind of bad that I actually haven't talked about them at all in this video, but these are definitely some of my favorite lipsticks and you have to try them. If you haven't already tried them, try them. You will fall in love. They are amazing in texture and color and everything. So guys, that was all from this, um, the lip product addict tag and I loved it to pieces. It was so cool. and. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and funny to watch and interesting as well. If you want to do this tag as well, I tag you and I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram for pictures of me. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching, have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Bye! These are my absolute favorite mascaras and I can't live without them and you know how I feel about them. I talked so much about them.